Hello everybody, how's it going? How's your Wednesday going guys? Hello Shadow-kun, hello Inatsu, hello the great Leo. How's your evening going? Sorry for the delay in the stream start. I'm having a bunch of technical difficulties tonight. Oh, you finally beat Elden Ring. Awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear that. How how was Elden Ring for you? How did you enjoy it? Not bad. How about you? Hey, not too bad. Not too bad. Today was a crazy slow day at work. Um, I got my new mic last night, which I'm not using right now. So audio quality is still bad. Uh, by s next Sunday, I will have a new mic operating and working. Easily top five game for me? Nice, that's awesome. Sounds about right. Elden Ring is is quite the masterpiece. I am still not done with Elden Ring. I mean, I've, I've, I've beat it a few times, but I'm still, I still have a lot to do in that game. I just want them to fix the online service already. Alright, alright, everything's working now. Let's go ahead and switch over to the live gaming scene. Yo, Leo, thank you for the lurk. And other than beating Elden Ring, what have you guys been up to? Let me go ahead and fix a few things here in the live gaming scene. It's not game capture, that's... This time around is window capture, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. There's the GameCube. Let's switch over the stream banner and... We're missing one more thing. There it is. Alright, we're ready. I haven't started New Game Plus yet. I still need to kill Moog and Melania. Gotcha. Well, they're kind of out of the way. They are out of the way, so it's not surprising you haven't gotten to them yet. Uh-oh. Are we going to be able to play GameCube games tonight? God damn it. I sure hope so. Don't tell me my GameCube's about to die on stream. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That'd be quite the stream though. Oh, it worked. It worked. We're good. We are good. I started a full developer career apart for my engineering bachelor. Oh, nice. Nice. I haven't been on Insta today. At least I don't think I have. So you started a full developer career apart from your engineering. Um, what does that mean exactly? What are you going for full developer? Just developing your own software? It sounds great though. I'm really happy for you not to. Also, Shadowkun on New Game Plus, um, Elden Ring, at least from what I've heard, it does not have a lot of new stuff going on New Game Plus. So if you want to wait on New Game Plus, you're not going to be missing out on much. Oh, really? You didn't use the, uh, the Wondrous Physic that much? Natsu, tell me more about that de developer career. career. From hey, Mitsumi, how's it going? Welcome in. I'm doing pretty good. Can't complain, really. How are you? The 
The person you're looking for is in Laneru province, right? Well, good for you. Head to the toilet that has fallen north of Kakariko village. A few shadows should be there too, so don't forget. It means I can't s I can start working before having more knowledge experience and I would be talking with already engineers. That's awesome, Inatsu. That is very cool that you're going to get to start working early. So I take it that it's kind of the same thing. You just get a chance to work in the field before officially graduating. Kind of get some experience out in the field. If that's the case, that is, that's awesome that you get the chance to do that. Very happy for you, bro. Good, you're good as well. Awesome. Awesome. Are you a fan of Zelda games, Mitsumi? Or what brings you to the channel? Like a trainee position? That's awesome. And I feel that in all fields in general, you tend to learn more hands-on that you do in the actual school if I'm, I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself right I'm the kind of person that learns more learns better in the field than I do from a textbook I started a pure sorcery build dual staffs that's awesome sounds like a fun one what was your first build like the one you beat the game with Okay, so we need to make it over to the Lineru province, but it's not this way. Let's go ahead and check the big map. It's north of Kokoriko, though. Yo, Gil, how's it going? Welcome in. I followed a bit ago during Osirium's birthday stream. I've been meaning to drop by. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do remember you, Mitsumi. We... We were talking about Kingsfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about Kingsfield in his chat. Yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome in. I beat the game with a dex build after Radagon. I respec into a Faith Arcane build. Very fun. Nice. Faith Arcane. That must pack a punch. Whenever a Souls build embodies Faith and Int, it's, it's quite the powerful one. Haha. <laughs> How's everyone? I'm doing good, Gil. How are you? I'm just chilling today. Staying hydrated and chilling with you guys. Can't get better. Pyro supremacy. Pyromancers are powerful too, yeah. I kind of miss the system they had in Dark Souls 1 where you didn't need stats to do most, most pyromancies. All right, so we need to make it to the Lanayru province and I have zero recollection on how to get there. So I'm gonna explore a little bit. But if this is the big map and this is Kakariko, wouldn't the Lanayru province be right where I was? All right, let's explore a little bit. We'll figure it out as we go, as we usually do. I miss pyromancy being its own thing. Yeah, same, same. 
Elden Ring has a bunch of different flames, doesn't it? Flame sorceries and stuff. See, this is Kakariko, and Inna told us it's to the north, and I'm pretty sure this right here would be Liniru Province. But this area is blocked by stones, and we don't have bombs. Have we been to the bomb shop, actually? Let's go back to the bomb shop, just to double check things. <laughs> Hoputa, Hoputa yourself, Pungong, how are you doing? Estoy de lo más bien y tú. Splane Sphere. The flame spells are either very, very good or absolute ass. Yeah, that's... That's how it's been in Elden. There was some very hefty, powerful exploits at the beginning with that... That flame spell, I can't remember the name of it. The one where you... Uh, light yourself on fire. So if you're bone and coffee themed, have you tried any bones coffee flavors? I have not. Is is that a brand of uh, coffee cream or flavorings? I have not. That is new to me. Yo, Hazy. Thank you for the raid. How's everyone doing? Welcome in, raiders. How are you doing, Hazy? What were you guys playing? <laughs> Welcome in, Fold. Hello! Welcome in. How kind of you for the raid. Thank you so much. Hope you are doing well. Oh, you were playing Fall Guys. That's right. That is right. I, I thought I saw you on the, uh, what is it? The notification. How was Fall Guys? How, how did it go? We're doing community night tonight. Nice. Quite a pickle. Way my options, so to speak. Quite a pickle indeed. Thank you so much for the raid, Hazy. And I have a feeling a lot of the people watching me already know who Hazy is, but please check him out. He is an exceptional streamer and a big Souls fan too. Love your avatar, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, no problem, thank you. Thank you for the raid. S underscore shadow underscore cut <laughs> says certified pee pee boo boo moment. I guess so, I guess so. If you, if you say so, Shadow Coon, I guess so. <laughs> also, uh, Hazy, you finished Elden Ring, didn't you? Oh, Zelda's going great. Um, I played this one before. I think this is one of the top contenders for my favorite Zelda game, and I thought it'd be a nice idea to replay it on stream. It's been fun. Oh, you already platinum did? That's awesome. That's awesome. Good for you. That That's great. Have you been playing since you beat it? I, I kind of dropped it. I've been meaning to go back to Elden, but I don't know. I kind of want to do invasions, and the online isn't working well for me so far. Oh yeah, I, I finished it. I finished it. I played through it a few times, tried a few different builds. Yeah, I love Elden. I haven't streamed it, because uh, I, I just can't. The, the hardware I have doesn't let me just yet. Need to do a few upgrades. Oh, you took a break? Yeah. Yeah, Gil, that is true. PvP is pretty dead, sadly. I've noticed a lot of people who have been doing 
PvP streams are playing on console, so console is probably a lot better for that. Yeah, co-op stream would be fun, Hazy. I'd love to see that too. Good thing I backtracked a little bit to grab these bombs. <laughs> Oof, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's a beautiful game. Sadly, I, I dropped that one. I want to give it another shot. I got a little bit intimidated. Yo, Aegon, thank you for the sub. How you doing, Aegon? Welcome in. <laughs> it's Wednesday, Aegon. Isn't it Wednesday? It's still Wednesday, right? But thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated, Skeleton Lord. How are you doing? If you guys want a nice, chill, late night Elden Ring PvP stream, check out the coop. Okay, okay. Gonna head out. Good luck, man. And if you do want to try Bones Coffee, I would recommend mint chocolate ice cream. Yo, thank you for the recommendation. I'll definitely check it out. Bones Coffee is an excellent brand name by me, so thank you for the recommendation and have a good one, friend. <laughs> yeah, it's still Wednesday, man. It sucks. It sucks. Why do Wednesdays exist? Weeks, Work weeks need to be shorter. You're not a skeleton lord? What do you mean? Of course you are. By definition, you are a skeleton, a lich who gathers other skeletons. If that's not a lord, I don't know what is. Mr. Link, wait. <laughs> Gathering does not make me a lord. Lord, okay, okay. What are you? Whatever you say, Lord Aegon. Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Barnes Bombs. If this guy would have delivered this letter way earlier, I wouldn't have to backtrack. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. I'm gonna check this letter just because I'm pretty sure it's gonna tell us that we can buy bombs, which we already did. Oh no, okay, bomb arrows. I was wrong. <laughs> Gil, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much, friend. Meo Deus, meo ayuda de novicio. En stream de esqueleto. Falante Cafe. What is Falante? But thank you so much for the stream for the sub. I understand a little Portuguese. Thank you, friend. As always, uh, just being here is enough. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. But I appreciate the, the subs as well. Thank you. See if I can remember how to use items. Yeah. Oh, talking Skelly. That's awesome. So Falante is is talking, like animate. Oh. Guess that wasn't close enough. <laughs> Have any of you guys played Twilight Princess before? I'm surprised a lot of the viewers that have joined 
in the past that have played Twilight Princess don't like it quite much. I find that pretty funny. I have not played the Twilight Princeler. It's good, it's good. It's one of my favorites. I haven't played any Zelda games. You haven't, interesting. I love Zelda. It, I think Zelda was my introduction to like open world RPGs. And from, from there I kind of branched out. I just know this level, yeah, yeah, it's, it's the same, yeah. It's like they copy pasted it into Smash. Good level too. I have a soft spot for uh, just simple 2D levels in Smash. Zelda had a lot of influences on Souls games too, interesting. I have not heard about that before. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. That's interesting. I, I want to look into that. All right, there's only one fuse shadow left. So this is the last of the Twilight you'll see, I guess. Whether or not you accomplish your final task and survive is up to you. So what will you do? All right, I think this is the last of the wolf link form for a while. You have a friend who says Dark Souls is a Zelda game. It kind of is. I, I mean, I can I can understand where he's coming from, where they're coming from, virtually at least. Yeah, yeah, I can see where they're coming from. Definitely. I remember when Dark Souls 2 was about to come out. I can't remember who it was. I, I I can't remember who it was, but I remember I was watching people play the game early, and someone says someone said Dark Souls is a mix of Zelda and Resident Evil. <laughs> All right then, I'll have to help you. But what a shame that this is the last of the twilight. I have become so fond of seeing it covering this world. <laughs> oh yeah, please send it. I, I love to see it. It makes a lot of sense to me, especially playing this game. Uh, earlier in the playthrough, I encountered an area called Farron Woods. And I immediately thought of uh, Farron, Farron Keep from Dark Souls 3. Also, Farron Woods is also covered in like uh, purple poison mist, which is just, uh, just exactly like Dark Souls 3. Farron Keep has that purple poison swamp going on. Shall we get going? Let's get going. I always thought Pinwheel was also kind of like a Zelda-like boss. It was too easy. Pinwheel deserves more love from the developers. Pinwheel was too easy, but if it was a longer fight, it, it'd be a better one, in my opinion. It feels very Zelda-like in his teleporting mechanic and stuff. A Link, can you at least promise me this? Just come home safely. Learn a new smell? Sure. Scent of Ilya. Well, good. It's another clue, then. But this scent could be quite old. I wonder if she's still alright. Alright.
Hey, haven't we seen this castle before? So we finally made it back here. Well, only a little further. So hang in there. Or so I'd like to say, but... The going's a lot harder from here on out. Alright then, let's get started. You're saying the game kind of tells you up front it's gonna get harder. I don't remember that line. That kind of caught me by surprise just now. Um, let's see. So, isn't this Linear Province? No, because we came through here. Let's keep going, I guess. Yo, Mr. Winter 2, how you doing? Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Doing good? You love Twilight Princess? Awesome. Well, that's awesome. Happy to hear that. I was just saying earlier that a lot of the people who stop by that that have played Twilight Princess don't don't like it at all. People have not been shy of shaming Twilight Princess here. <laughs> it's pretty funny, but I'm glad you love it. I'm glad you love it. I love it too. Twilight Princess is one of my favorites. Funnily enough, I think this is the Zelda game I've replayed the most. It's been years since I've played through it. But when I first got it, back in the GameCube days, um, I played it through a bunch. Okay, I remember this. I remember this. What is the name of the person riding the horse? I recognize him, but I can't put a name to the face. Um, you mean Minna? Uh, she's Minna. She's the companion character in this game. Oh, it's all right, Shadow Death. No worries. Yeah, she's Minna. She is the com Link's companion in this game. Coffee, did you like my pet pro? Yeah, I did. I did. Thank you for sending me that picture. That was really funny. Yeah, Natsu has a, a good doggo. A very cute one, I might add. A very hungry one. Aww. There are a few things that are annoying about the game. Yeah, of course. I mean, the game the game has aged, and, and sadly, a few of its mechanics or things are not up to date. It has aged not well quite a bit. I agree. The combat's kind of clunky. Which is kind of funny to say because uh, Zelda games usually feel pretty simple combat wise. This one's kind of clunky. And uh, I don't know, just a few things here and there aren't, aren't up to date. Graphic wise, it was good at the time. Yeah, the art style didn't age well either. That is true. Uh, Wind Waker did... Wind Waker's art style did, did a lot better with time. Minna, that is the name. I knew I recognized her, but I couldn't think of her name. Yeah, yeah, Minna. 
She's my favorite Link companion in all the series, I, I believe. Hey, do you smell anything funny? Uh oh. Love the skeleton avatar, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so kind. Thanks again, Hazy, for the raid. You you brought. You always have such uh, a big group of kind viewers. Sorry, I don't I don't know words. I don't know words, but thank you. Can't say it enough. <laughs> uh, yes, one that sits in your desk, barking twenty four seven. Yep, that's the one. That is in Natsu's butt. You're welcome. Thank you. English be difficult. It is, right? English is my second language, so I have an excuse. Ha. Huh. But yeah, yeah, English be difficult. Truth is, if I were to stream in Spanish, I, I'd be the same. <laughs> I know I'd be the same, but it's all right. I wanted to come by and show the love, dude. It's great to see you. Hey, great to see you too, and much appreciated. Phew, that was a close one. We're lucky there was a puddle down below, huh? So this is Lake Hylia. But there's a little water. At any rate, let's take a look around. Come on, let's go. Oh, is it? English is my first language and I still don't know what I'm saying sometimes. Yeah, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Same thing for me in Spanish. The drop in water has been faster than predicted. At this rate, Lake Hylia will dry up. It's a race against time. Man, the, the Zora people in this game suffer quite a bit compared to other games. We, we've had absolutely no water flowing from the upstream. There's no mistaking something must have happened to the water source in our home, Zora's domain. <laughs> English is your fourth language? In order, Natsu, is, did you really learn English fourth out of all the languages that you know? That's impressive. That's really impressive. Yeah, how, how are we to return upstream to our home with the way things are now? Can't even walk back there. Your minus four language. Minus four. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, um, oh, English is your second too. Okay. Okay. Cause I know, you know, more languages than I do. Was it three? Fluent and froggish? Yeah, that's a fact. That is a fact. It not to can speak frog. Oh, I'm a little lost. Oh. We missed this guy here. I'm too old for this. <laughs> um, the air and Falby's water top land of fantas fantastication. It's our grand reopening at our new lake bottom location. Hmm. Yeah, nice lake. 
Don't lakes have more, I don't know, water? Did the Zoras who live upriver do something? Or is it a curse from that spirit that floats around up in there? Whatever. It's not like I can go up and complain. That's way too high. What was that sound effect? Yikes, it's a monster. <laughs> um... You don't want to learn German in Natsu? Learning, learning any language can be difficult. I like Portuguese because even though I don't speak it, it's similar enough, enough to Spanish to the point where I can understand most of what you're saying, Gilbert. Yeah, see, in Spanish, that would be mi Dios, mi Señor, which is very similar. You just change a few vocals here and there. Well, I don't remember the sound effects in this game being so horrifying. Can you guys hear that? This is, this is horror. This is a horror game. Italian is pretty similar too, right? Well, it's it it differs quite a bit. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of dark themes. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm your new master now. Settle down. Hey, why don't we use this guy to get us all the way to the lake's water source? I forgot we we rode this thing. Yeah, and for those of you who have not seen this game through, um, get ready, because it's, it's going to get darker. All I will, will say is, I kind of feel bad for Ganondorf and the way he... He goes out in this game. He might be the the king of evil, but but he's he suffers quite a bit in this game. Although the same could be said about Wing Waker, I suppose. Depends how deep you get into the language, I see. Dragoncito? Dragoncito indeed. It's kind of like a dragon, right? I always saw it as a big headless bird, but it, it, it's kind of like a dragon. Zen Biomata. Zen, how you doing? Hello. Welcome in. You brought cookies for yourself? How dare you? How dare you, son? I demand you share those cookies right now. Thanks 
Ah, uh, we're already here. By the way, son, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. Welcome in. We're already here. That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, where's the village of Zora's? Let's look for it. It's getting cold. Hurry up. Your famous Amos? Nice. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with famous Amos. Uh, for example, cabeza slash head is testa, but in some versions of Italian, it's capoccia, which is also helmet in some versions. Oh, interesting. The second version of uh, head that you said uh, makes sense to me. It, it's similar to the Spanish one. I mean, what are those Zoras up to anyway? The rivers run totally dry, right? I can't work like this. Ugh. Cold. I miss my fur coat. Okay, it doesn't seem like we can jump across. Yes, cappuccino is head. We all know this. Get your cappuccino in the game, come on. <laughs> this is not coffee lore, this is uh, a not to explaining Italian. Explaining what he knows of Italian. The coffee verse is being written. Yeah, I'm scared. I am scared. I'm scared what the coffee ver the <laughs> I was going to say caffeine verse, the ca the coffee verse. I'm scared of what the coffee verse. Yo, crappy, how's it going? Welcome in. Yo, we got a lot of people in. We do? That's awesome. <laughs> How you doing, Crappy? Happy Wednesday. We do. Oh, hey, what's going on here? I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought that it would be all frozen? This is the Zora village, right? Why don't I see any then? Well, anyway, let's check things out. Let's find the Zoras. By the way, for those of you wondering if the game looks a little fuzzy, if it looks kind of choppy, it is because I'm playing it on GameCube. I'm not playing the HD version. <laughs> I'm playing the GameCube version. And uh, yeah, it just comes out as choppy through the Elgato. Coffee, I am sorry to raid and run, but it's past midnight for me. I hope you have a great rest of your stream. I'll lurk for as long as I can. Great to see you and take care. Hey, thank you for the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, Hazy, and it's good to see you too. Have a good night, my friend. And no worries, it sounds like it's late over there. Thank you so much. Take care, my friend. Itnatsu, I am scared of what you're writing. Have a good night, Hazy. Thank you for the raid again. Thank you for stopping by. If anything, aren't we glad we're technically part of Coffeeverse? Yeah, you are. Everyone's everyone's part of Coffeeverse. Coffee enjoyers, coffee dislikers, tea drinkers. You're all part of it. No one's no one's left out. Unless you wanna be, and that's fine too.
I think we can get up from here. Let's go. All right. <laughs> the coffee verse is a comfy place to be. I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you think so. Oh, okay, no fall damage, I'm surprised. I guess it's the fluffy snow. And not to, please stop. <laughs> I, I don't like seeing something I can't read. Tea drinkers? Yeah, tea drinkers. I like tea myself. I am guilty of it too. I just always like to mention tea because I know that a lot of people don't drink coffee and, and drink tea. So I don't I don't want them to feel left out. <laughs> Stop summoning backroom entities. That's such a good sentence. I love that. Man, ever since I watched those backrooms videos with you guys, I swear to you, I dream in backrooms. I don't dream in real life anymore. I don't dream in cartoons like when I was a kid. I dream in backrooms now. My, my dream life, my sleep life has changed. <laughs> you wish you dreamt in back rooms? It was scary. I, I seriously dreamt about the back rooms and it was scary. You want to clip out? I don't know why you would want that and not to. I don't know why you guys are so chill about the back rooms. I think that is scary. Oh, you did two for real? Yo, you gotta tell me about that. Send I wanna hear about those dreams. In the back rooms in VR chat. Oh, you play in the back rooms for real? That's cool. That's cool, Zen. Uh, Gil, Ignatsu, and I were watching back rooms videos one night about maybe a few weeks ago. And uh, yeah, ever since then, my life has changed. A portal has opened here. We can finally warp. If you want to breathe the air of the world of light for a moment, let me know. I'll take you there. Alright guys, remember when I told you that the game is about to get a little bit more dark? Yeah, it was a few weeks ago. I gotta invite you next time. We were on the Dark Souls server. It's a separate Discord server. I I must invite you sometime soon. Uh, and also, you you need to pick up the Souls games. You need to pick them up soon too. All right, all right. So the game's about to get darker. Avert your eyes. Whoa, hey. Down. Look below the ice. The first time I saw this back in the day, I I thought the Zoras were dead. I was pretty scared. Those those are Zoras. Wow, this is a really strange. This is really strange. What in the world happened? What do you want to do? We can't just leave them like this. I think all we need to do is thaw them out. It does us no good to just stand here thinking. Let's leave and come back later. The portal should work for us. We need to find a way to melt the ice and then come back here. Fortunately, I know exactly where to go. We need to go up to Death Mountain.
Get Dark Souls and join Dark Souls server. Profit. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how you win at life. You just, you gotta buy Dark Souls, join a Dark Souls server, and then you start making money. It's that simple. It's that simple. The road to success. I was about to get Dark Souls 1 the other day. Gil, do you think an Orlando server will get active like his Golden Age again? Never. It's not even Dark Souls server anymore. Why Why do you say it's not a Dark Souls server anymore? You feel like people are just deviating from it too much? Wow, this thing has been here for a while now, but it's still pretty hot. If it's hot, we gotta warp it. Um, was it up here? Yeah, it was. Evolving the server. I think the server is good with what it offers. What do you mean by evolving? Because some members say, oh, this this is our Dark Souls server, so it's going to say like that, and... I think I understood what you said. Are you just saying there's a lot of gatekeeping in the server? People don't want it to change? I don't think the server needs to be anything else than what it already is. I think it's fine too. I think what it offers is great. I just think also a lot of interest in souls has kind of withered a little bit. People aren't really looking. A, a lot of people aren't really looking for other people to play Dark Souls with. They're just out playing it by themselves or with their friends. They already have their groups. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think interest in Souls has kind of withered as of late, especially with the servers being down. Who knew that something so dangerous would come in handy? Alright, the Zoras are safe now, so let's go. The ice melted and restored the water flow to normal. Can we finally meet the spirit of the lake? Of Lake Hylia? Okay. Usually, I'd stay and talk to NPCs, but, uh, we're about 1 hour and 50 minutes away from ending stream, so I'm, I'm gonna try and speed it up a little bit. Wait! Oh, I remember this song. Please, you must allow me to thank you for revitalizing both my people and this spring, which is the water source for all the lands of Hyrule. In life, I was the elder of this Sora village. Sorry for the brief pause in me speaking, I'm trying to keep the audio from outside from coming through my mic, but anyway. In life, I was the elder of this Zora village, and the queen of my people I was called Rutella. Not to be rude, but we didn't exactly do it for you guys. Dark Ones. They raided this village and, as a message to my people, executed me before them. Young man, you who take the form of a proud beast, I have something to ask of you. When the Dark Ones descended upon our village, I sent my young one, Rallis, to Hyrule Castle to inform Princess Zelda of our fate. But I fear danger follow him from this doomed place. I feel it. His presence grows faint, 
fainter to me over time. But my time in this world has passed, and though I would give it gladly, I no longer have a life to risk in his rescue. Please, would you save my dearest Prince Rallis? If you do this thing, I will bestow upon you the protection of water. This power will grant you the ability to swim and respire in every deep water. As if you were Zora. Please save my son. <laughs> you know, I I stopped reading the game for half a second and I read one message from Inatsu and immediately I just regret it. Let me catch up with chat. <laughs> um I think it's clear the Dark Souls server needs to grow legs and lay eggs and land. Uh okay, I read all this, okay. Uh, we had a gold era in the server, and now it's dying, like, okay. Thank you, Inatsu, for being so descriptive. I wouldn't say it's dying, more like it's in equilibrium. Yeah, I don't think it's dead, necessarily. At least we are in the Hall of Immortals. <laughs> yeah, that's the message I read. Now it's just a small community that enjoys talking about Dark Souls once in a while. Coffee, stop talking for a second and appreciate the lore. Me laser cube for five min five minutes in dead silence. Okay. Think I wanna talk with Ollie again? Being a part of a big community means getting drowned if you want to be perceived. A lot of the times, yeah. A lot of the times, yeah. That is true. That is true. It is sad, but it's true. Oh! <laughs> the Elgato coming through again. Breaking the immersion. Um, exactly crappy. If you want me to talk in Italian with him... Ciao, come, okay. Uzumaki? I I don't know what that is, son. I'm sorry. Yeah, when I read Uzumaki, I thought Naruto. Is that right? Wait, you read that incorrectly, I believe. Haha, <laughs> no worries. Oh, maybe I did. I know the message you're talking about. Yeah, maybe I did. Like I meant, as you don't, you don't need to apologize to us for appreciating war. Oh, hey, I know that. No, no worries at all. No worries at all. Yeah, but it's true. I don't know why uh, what Crappy said uh, kind of st stuck in my head now. It, it is true. It, it's kind of... It's awesome to see communities grow, but that is true. When you're part of a com community and it starts growing and you feel kind of left out, I, I can relate to that. I can definitely relate to that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So if we help her, she'll grant you the power to swim in deep water like Azora, huh? Uzumaki the horror Coffee game? Be like, the okay, horror let me catch up with chatty read it nezzy message okay back to game Alamo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it goes, man. That's exactly how it goes. No, I have not heard of that manga. I have not heard of that. I need to catch up on a few manga. I I wanna read Berserk. I, I know Berserk because I watched a lot of videos on it. I basically watched the whole manga in video format. But I wanna I wanna read Berserk and I also wanna read Dragon Head. A lot of people have have recommended Dragon Head to me and I I haven't had any time to. I 
I don't know what it is in Natsu, but like when chat is is going fast and I look at chat, it's always a message from you. It's always a message from you, the first thing I see. And it's always something explicit too. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So if we help her, she'll grant you the power to swim in deep water like the Sora, huh? So what do you say, hero? Oh, but now that I think about it, I don't suppose you should meet the princess as a wolf, huh? So, oh, the prince as a wolf, I see. So no hurry to return you to the world of light then, huh? Yeah, we got to talk to the spirit of light first. And uh, we got to hunt those bugs. And then we got to become human and then speak to the prince. You got all that? So, uh, Sen, tell me more about Uzumaki. I'm interested. You've read it, Crappy? Looks like the shock of that impact not only raised the water level, but sped up the flow, too. Crappy always a clutch chatter. That is true. That is true. Crappy is one of the real ones. This water flow should... Oh, wait. This water should flow all the way down to the lake. Why don't you let it take you there? Alright, let's do it. I'm gonna travel... I'm not gonna read that in Natsu. I'm just not gonna read it, okay? Uh, I'm scared. Everyone, this is your daily hydrate reminder, so go drink some water. Thank you, Gil. Much appreciated. I got my cup of water right here. It's the Junji Ito work you're referring to, right? Thanks, guys. No, thank you, Grabby. Thank you for the morning mood. Got some coffee here that went cold from neglect. <laughs> that happens. That happens. I'm curious. Actually, just so you guys don't have to call yourselves out, I'm going to do a poll here real quick. Okay, the the answers for the poll get cut off because they're kind of long, but I think it's understandable. Alright. I wanted to start a poll, so there it goes. Just so you guys don't have to say what you do. Um, let's see, let's see. Coffee for a Gilbit. Oh, awesome. Awesome. You remembered. Your order of espresso with Chantilly and cinnamon topping is ready for you. Here you go. <laughs> Prayer Lord. Sometimes you just add ice. Interesting. I've not tried that, actually. I I want to try that now. Aren't you awake yet? Look, we look, we got washed all the way down to the Lake Hylia, just as I predicted. And it looks like we're right in front of the Spirit Spring to boot. Talk about lucky. Well, let's go. Snap out of it and get to the Spirit. 
Honestly, I... Hmm, if I'm not feeling lazy, I'll get up and heat up my coffee or get some fresh coffee. If I'm lazy or stuck sitting down because I'm working and I can't get up, I'm busy taking calls, I will just chug my cold coffee. Also, sometimes I'll get up to grab a new batch of coffee and I will chug my cold coffee anyway. That's just how it happens. I'm the last of the spirits of light, consumed by twilight. Hero, chosen one of the gods. You have done well to make it this far. Gather my scattered tears of light that were stolen by the shadow. Gather them in this. You got the vessel of light. It's crucial to collecting the tears of light. All right, so this is gonna be the last uh, tears of light collecting thing. Damn. Most of you heat up your coffee. That is very adult-like of you. <laughs> Understandable, though. Hot coffee is the way to go. I'm sure you know by now, but the forms that these dark insects take when they steal our light. In this shadow realm of twilight, the insects are invisible, like the humans. Collect my light, lift the final cloud of twilight that threatens to cover all of Hyrule. Alright, this is going to be the, uh, the last bug hunting expedition. One thousand three hundred sixty points. <laughs> Gilbert contributed a thousand. Oh, I see. I'll allow it. I will allow it. You need dunk wood. That's going to happen on Sunday. By the way, um, the first part of my Dunkwood playthrough, it's kind of weird how the YouTube algorithm works. So you guys know I've been uploading my VODs to YouTube. And normally when I upload any kind of video to YouTube, it'll get maybe 30 views on average, you know, which is good. I, I don't mind. I'm, I'm really just uploading out of habit and just to keep it going but the first part of the dunkwood playthrough like overnight got 200 views and then it stopped and i'm like okay that is interesting the youtube algorithm is kind of a mystery to me it's kind of like that uh that john darcel's video i posted about a year ago or yeah I think it was about a year ago. It got 2,000 views and then it stopped. Algorithm recognizing coffee. Greatness. It's it's kind of cool when it happens. It feels cool when it happens. Even... It's even better when people come over to the stream and say they found me because of a video. It, it, it feels good. It's always nice. Uh-oh. I want to practice more video editing. I had a lot of fun compiling the Broken Sword playthrough in a shorter format. It's still pretty long, but I had a lot of fun doing it, and I gotta get better at video editing again. I've always wanted to do an essay on Dark Souls.
I don't know about you guys, but I love watching or listening to video essays on games that I like. I think Dark Souls and Zelda are the games I've watched the most essays on. Oh, oh. I screwed up there. Dark Souls 2 appreciation video essay? Hey, I like that idea. I like that idea. You know what? I'll take on that challenge. I like that idea. If no one's done it, I I want to be the one to compare Kingsfield 4 to Dark Souls 2. That'd be that'd be a a cool few things to list off in the video because aesthetically and gameplay wise, Dark Souls 2 has so much in common with Kingsfield 4. To me, it's still insane that no one's talked about this before, or at least I haven't caught a lot of it on the internet yet. Oh, he does? That's awesome. I need to stop... I need to stop by on uh, Bojo's streams more often. He did a first-person Dark Souls 2 stream and was constantly making the comparisons. That is awesome. That's awesome. That sounds like something I would totally do. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know, Aegon. Um, Kingsfield 4 kind of changed it all for me. It's, it's kind of weird because I was definitely going into that game with a lot of expectations. I, I knew I was going to play a good game. But now whenever I play Dark Souls, I can't shut up about Kingsfield. It's so good and it's it's just really cool to see how all of the Kingsfield-esque um, tropes became Dark Souls tropes. Because it, it really all started there and I guess even before because there are things that carry on even from the old Armored Core games. But... But still, it's just, it's such an amazing thing to see from the perspective of the souls. Uh, now you're a Kingsfield believer and officially have become a souls fan. Yeah, yeah, no, for real, for real. If, and, and Gilbert said a while ago that he was thinking about playing Kingsfield, I would say go for it. Seriously, go for it. Oh, 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 wait, wait, let me read that again. Now you're a Kingsfield believer and official... Officially have become that Souls fan. I see, I see. The specific title of a Souls fan who knows about Kingsfield. Yeah, yeah, and I still haven't played them all. I, I want to play more. Um, Lily, who was here uh, last stream? Yeah, it was last stream, last Sunday. Uh, she was saying that I should continue playing and play Kingsfield 2 Japan, was, which is Kingsfield 1 in the West. So I think that's the next one I'm going to play. After I finish Darkwood, I think I'm just going to take on Kingsfield again. Kingsfield was just such a fun playthrough for me too. I don't know why, but I just have, I have so many fond memories of chatting with you guys and, and playing Kingsfield. It was a good one. I remember the last Kingfield stream, even that I was, I was happy to have finished Kingfield, but at the same time, I wasn't ready to say goodbye to it quite yet. It was pretty bittersweet. I do want to play Kingsfield at some point. Yeah, yeah, you you really gotta. It's not that it seems intimidating, but after you get used to it, it it's not bad. It's not bad. I gotta say though, I did use a guide about two times throughout my playthrough because I was seriously lost. But once you get the f into the flow of things and uh, you stop getting lost, it's it's 
it gets pretty simple. It's just really slow pace. Also, at some points I was underleveled, so I was struggling and it was completely my fault. Alright, so we got all the bugs in this area. I think we gotta go upstream again. Also, I think most of you have already seen him and know him from my streams before, but please check out Aegon. He is a great Skella streamer, he is a big fan of Souls games and roguelikes, and you're really missing out if you, if you don't check out his streams. I think I was saying in Gilbit's stream uh, yesterday that there are a handful of streams that really make me laugh out loud. And uh, Aegon's one of them, Gilbert's one of them, and uh, yeah, you're, you're just missing out if you haven't checked him out, so please do. Also, if you guys check out Aegon's stream, please make him say Ara Ara for me. <laughs> no. Yes, you got it, Gilbert. You you said it right. Gil, I got a question about Darkwood. Um, oh wait, there are bugs around here? I don't remember this at all. Interesting, I gotta hit the bugs on this, on this ride. Uh oh, I missed that one. Wow, I am bad. Uh, Gil, I had a question about Darkwood. Um, I'm not in a rush to finish it by any means, but I was just curious. At which point in the game would you say I am? Am I halfway or not even yet? it by your hair. Um, I think that really depends. I think we've been at it for about 21 days or so. 20-ish games, uh, 20-ish days. Oh, we still need to kill two bugs in this area. That sucks. Yeah, 20-ish days.
Supposedly there's a bug around here. Well, my first place you played through, I finished in 45 days. Okay, interesting. But I definitely missed a bunch of stuff. Um, have you only played through at one skill? What's that? A bug? Ew, nasty. Why is it so big? Golly, I'm so sick of roughing it in the boonies. Okay, that's an interesting sentence. Okay, yeah, okay. It seems like that's a pretty common consensus, though. That's a pretty common thing. Um, the people who have come by the stream uh, to watch Darkwood, they, they all say the same thing. They've missed a few things. Normally, they've only played it once and started it a few times and never finishing it again. And it's interesting to me that people have missed a lot. It seems like it's one of those games where you really have to replay it over and over to get the full experience. Kind of like Souls in that way. It really depends on how thoroughly you explore. Okay. I gotta say, the game, the game has no hand-holding that I know of, that I understand of, and I, I love that so much about it. I love that it has no hand-holding, I love the dialogue in the game, except the chicken lady, I don't like her dialogue. I mean, who knows, maybe it gets better and I don't know it yet, but I I don't like the chicken lady that much. Uh-oh. Damn it. Always do the same thing. I'm guessing in today's stream we'll have enough time to collect all the bugs and uh, become human, watch a couple of cutscenes. And I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think... I mean, we might get to the temple, but I don't think we'll be able to do much time-wise. Almost did the same thing. The problem with Darkwood is that it's a very depressive game and consecutive playthroughs get a bit exhausting. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. It is very dark. I mean, <laughs> it's in the name, I know, I know. But, but still, it's very dark. so difficult to walk as Wolf Link around, uh... Oh, no. I keep hitting the wrong button. I 
I gotta say one thing that, uh, and it might be a weird thing that I like about Darkwood, but one thing I really like is that the combat is not flashy. I like that it's slow. I like that it makes you think. And, uh, again, I just like that it's not flashy. Like, those single shot pistols that I was hoarding and I used to survive a couple of nights, um, when I used them, I was expecting to, for it to be flashy. I don't know how else to explain it. But the way the enemies go down, it's kind of sad. I don't know how to explain it. They, they go down fast without much... Without much happening, other than you shooting them and them going down as quick as half a second. You know what I mean? Because other games make shooting into a whole event, you know? And Darkwood is... is In Darkwood it just happens so quickly. Without... Yeah, very stoic. That's a really good way to say it. It is very stoic. Yeah. Exactly. I, I really like that about the game. I have mad respect for that approach. Because it's not trying to... To... Hook your brain on any... Cheap explosions or animations. It's not bombastic. It's not overly fantastic. It's it's just straight to the point, serious, and as bleak as it is, it's it's it does a good job. I remember when I survived that night when I used the pistol for the first time. Or not the first time, but I think I successfully used it for the first time. Um I remember I kinda got scared I, I was more scared about the fact that I shoot the thing. Um, uh, that, sorry, I'm struggling with speaking and killing this thing. I was more scared about the fact that I shoot the monster than the monster itself, if that makes sense. It won't come down. There is also a permadeath mode, once you finish the first time. Really? Now, that sounds intriguing. Not sure that I want to try it. That sounds... that sounds awesome, though. I gotta say, it's not surprising. It's very fitting. Permadeath sounds very fitting with the game. It's around here somewhere. Can't really see for... Oh, there it is. I can relate on how you felt about the shooting. But it gets more normal after you start using regular guns. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's. I still feel like I'm very far away from using regular guns. I know uh, Monkeys um, has told me quite a few times that if I wasn't wasting money on like pipes and stuff... I'd be able to to get a gun by now, but I still feel like I'm far I'm pretty far away from that stage. Mm -hmm. 
Oh wait, there is a statue. Oh yeah, there, there it is. Oh wait. Let's listen to her first. By next stream, you're gonna be armed to the teeth, really? Okay. Hopefully it goes that way. Cause I'm still feeling pretty weak against the dark wood world. It's tough. Also, thanks again for everyone lurking, everyone chatting. Appreciate the fact that you're here. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Let the teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. I don't know. It's hard for me to believe that this game gets so much hate sometimes. As clunky as it is and as bad as some things have aged, I feel like it brought quite a few new things to the table and things that work too. Um, where's the thing to call the bird? Oh, there it is. Here it is. I like the skills that you learn along the way throughout the game. It's just a cool Zelda game to hate. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. I know I'm biased because this is a game I played uh, when I was a kid. And I played it I played it through a few times. I played the heck out of it. Um, someone, when I was a kid, someone stole my memory card. So I had to replay it again after completing it 100%. Um, I played it a lot, is what I'm trying to say. And I don't know, I'm very fond of this game. I'm very, very fond of this game. And I'm happy to be playing it again. It's been, it's been years. And I'm still as bad at this game as I remember, which is awesome. I think there is less Twilight Princess haters than Skyward Sword though. Yeah, yeah, that is very real. Skyward Sword is one that I have never played. I want to, especially after seeing Noivy playing it. I want to jump into that one. The soundtrack seems solid. Um, the gameplay, you know. Oh, most of the hate it gets is from the gameplay, but but still, it seems like a good game. I I don't imagine it can be that bad, you know. Yeah, let's try it again. So many people love the game too. It can't be that bad. Also, lore-wise, Skyward Sword is very important from what I've heard. The cutscenes in Overworld also look beautiful in that title. Better than Twilight Princess, actually, now that I think about it. The art style is, is a bit better, in my opinion.
I might have asked this before already, but uh, what are your favorite Zelda games, guys? I, I want to know. Oh, there it is. There's a bug. Man. We're almost at the end of the flight. Oh man, this is sad. I'm gonna have to do the, the flight thing again. Too bad. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it. That's the last one for now. Alright, we're, we're almost done with the bug hunting. So, I think I was right. Next stream is when we'll be able to actually tackle the, the water temple in this game. Going too fast. Yes, finally. All right, let's just forfeit. <laughs> let's just forfeit. It's easier. No, we're good. We got the bug. Oh wait, no. Don't tell me that if I forfeit I lose the bug. That can't be, right? Don't do that to me. <laughs> no, where's the last two? Huh. Because I remember where the last bug is. What's that thing? What's this thing over here? Oh. Okay. I think I know. Let's go ahead and warp just to save time. I think I remember. I think one of the bugs is in Hyrule Field. I think. Because part of Hyrule Field is also in Twilight at this point. Yo, Keiku, how's it going? Welcome in. Happy Wednesday, my friend. How are you doing, Keiku? How's your Wednesday going? 
good. Nice. Happy to hear that. Oh yeah, here it is. This is where we find the last bug, I believe. Let me open my bedroom door and my cat wants in. Oh no, my cat wants out. She was in here, I didn't know that. That's funny. Okay, so I believe the last bug should be around here, right? Is this the last bug? That's Hyrule Castle though. Or Castle Town, I mean. Or is that where the prince is? That's where the prince is. Oh. Huh. Weird. Last bug is not here then. Because I don't see it on the map. Let's try warping again. How's the game going? It's going good. It's going good. Slow progress. Um, kind of like most streams for this game. Um, but it's going good. Uka. Okay, I think I know where the last bugs are. I think it's time for that bug boss fight. But I don't remember there being two tiers of life there, which is weird. But it's fine. We'll go there. We'll see if the if the boss fight is ready. It's mandatory that I call the bird for this part, damn it. Also, one of these streams, we will do a fishing stream. We'll just fish as Link for a whole stream. I'm not sure when, because I want to do a few more dungeons before I do something like that, but... Fishing stream coming soon. That sounds nice, yeah. I gotta say, Foxhole wanted to do that. Foxhole... I kind of stole that from Foxhole, so credit to Foxhole. Um, I don't know if he's here. But... Yeah, Foxhole wanted to do that a long time ago, but I don't think he... He's gonna do it anytime soon. Um... I have to go to bed now. Okay, what's that thing that popped up? Sorry guys, I don't know what's that thing that popped up on screen. Web server is down. I'm confused. <laughs> Miami. I'm not even in Miami. Is that an OBS thing? Can anyone explain this to me? Oh, that's the the avatar thing. Okay, whatever. I guess we'll go with the other avatar. Man, I was so confused for a second there. <laughs> okay, okay. I can fix it. I know what it is now. Uh, that's too bad. I can't use my Link hat. <laughs> that's so funny.
Um, and yeah, uh, Gilbert, thank you for coming by. It's always a pleasure having you here. It's always an honor. And uh, have a good night, my friend. I will see you later. I'm just going to go ahead and shout out Gilbert real quick as well. Please check out Gilbert. He has been playing Hitman recently, but he's a big Souls fan, as am I. And uh, yeah, you should check his stream out. He has an ASMR quality voice, and you're definitely missing out on some good chatting and good fun. Fuck yeah, fishing stream. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> fishing stream coming soon. Let's do it. I want to catch and release fish. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll catch and we'll definitely release it. Uh, should we try it again? Yeah, we have to. Web server down. I was so confused with that when that came up. Because it wouldn't come up on my computer. It, it'd just be in the OBS thing. And of course it would be. It's the, the avatar server thing. But still, so confusing. I was so scared I was docking, doxing myself there for a second. <laughs> Accidental face reveal. Could you imagine that? Oh, that's true. Gilbit likes blue coins, especially in Resident Evil games. That is true. I don't think you guys heard it, but if you did, I apologize if you heard the police sirens in the background. It's part of living in a city, what can I say? Things be going down all the time. Also, Keiku, uh, what, have you, what have you been up to today? Did you have to work? Oh, you just got out? Awesome. That's the best time of day. The best feeling. Um, yeah, so I think if I'm correct... If I'm correct, and we are at the last of the bugs, it should be around here. Though I doubt it. I feel like I'm missing one. Maybe I have to talk to this guy first. It's kind of weird because sometimes bugs don't show up unless you talk to people. So I might be missing one that's really obvious. What was that thing? This is not a bug, is it? I don't think it is. Damn, I'm really... I'm pretty lost here. Let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit. Go over to this side.
I'm wondering if this is a bug, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's that tower over in the corner. That tower thing. I think that's what it is. I don't think it's a bug. Let's go. Let's see if we can go up there anyway. Who knows? Actually, I don't think we can even go up there. Oh. Interesting. I have no recollection of a bug not showing up on the map before. Customers won't come, even though the water's back. Maybe no one knows. Perhaps I should go tell folks around town. So tired. Huh. My best guess would be this corner over here, but it doesn't seem like we're at that point yet. Because I think it even shows up on the map. I think you don't even have to come over here until the bug shows up on the map. Huh. Out of nowhere, it's raining like it's the end of the world over there. Yeah, really? That's nice. I, I don't mind the, ra the rain. Actually, is it still pretty hot where you are at Natu? I think I remember you telling me that it was pretty hot over there. It is. Okay, the rain has personality. That's interesting. Actually, no. I'm not gonna use the the bird. I'm gonna go ahead and warp. It's it's just easier. It's cold. I don't think I'm missing any over here. It's it sure as hell isn't on the map. Maybe we do need to go check out the prince in Castle Town. Let's do that. That's my best guess, really. Oh. 
Also, guys, I think I mentioned it at the beginning of the stream, but my new mic just got here, and I didn't have I didn't have enough time to set it up today, so I'm still using my old mic. So forgive the the audio quality for now, but it should change soon. The new mic should be up and going by Sunday's stream. Should be fun. I'm pretty excited to have some better audio. Considering that I am a skeleton on the internet, I feel like audio is very important when it comes to my stream. So soon enough, we'll have a better upgrade. You, you guys won't be able to hear the sounds from the outside world. Yeah, yeah, new mic, new mic, and it's it's thanks to you guys. It's thanks to you guys. I used the money I got from Twitch Twitch to buy it. And uh Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Can't wait to keep upgrading more stuff about the stream. Soon enough, hopefully, if I get motivated, some more art will be coming out soon. I want to upgrade or update my starting soon screen, my background wallpaper for the stream, stuff like that, little things. Oh yeah, yeah, there there should be. I uploaded a few weeks ago. I don't think it's been approved by Twitch actually, but I did upload it. It's on the way for sure. I'm sure by Sunday we should have it already. I'm actually surprised we don't have it yet. I uploaded it on Saturday, I think. Yeah, dude, do emote coming out soon. I noticed the, the peace emote wasn't getting used as often on Twitch, so I switched that out with the dude, do one. Oh, cool. We can we can see the wolf before we become human. Rest in peace emote. Well, it's it still lives on on Discord at least. It was a good peace out marker. Yeah. I just feel like having a buy or a, you know, wave emote and a peace out emote. It's kind of the same thing. And since the wave emote is animated, everyone was using that one instead of the peace emote. So, Instead of having two emotes for the same purpose, I'd rather switch one out. Also, the, the dude emote is awesome. I like that one so much. It's one of my favorites, I think. Can't wait for it to go live on Twitch. Sad plate mail noises to victory pose. Yeah, the dude dude is is a fun one. Idveal suggested it, and I thought it was a great idea. Is it really not live yet? I'm actually surprised it's not live yet. I'm checking because it's Wednesday. I uploaded it on Saturday. Yeah, you're right. Why is the peace emote still available? I can still use the peace emote. That's weird. I gotta check it out after I end stream. That is weird. I thought I switched it out. Huh. Okay, let's go and see the prints. I think this is actually what I had to do all this time. Oh yeah, okay. That's right, we never came here and visited Ilya either. And it seems like there's a bug nearby. Can you see the white dot? 
Seems like there's a bug here. Yeah, there is. Awesome. Seems like at least we will become human at the end of this stream. All right. There should be one more. Where could the last tier be? What? There it is. What's going on? This is weird. Can we go in there as a wolf? We should be able to. No one can see us. This boy, can you save him? All right, little lady. Try to settle down, okay? I just now sent for the doctor. But this is a strange, this is strange, a child of the Zoras. I wonder if this is at all related to the incident the soldiers were talking about. Ah, uh, what an emotional reunion. Yes, a girl and her wolf. Sorry, but you know how it goes. These folks can't see you either. Oh, can't see you either. So no more dialogue? This boy is still so young, so innocent to see him suffering like this. He'll be all right, little lady. Someone's already gone for the doctor. I'll tell you though, from what those soldiers in the back we're talking about to everything else there sure has been a rash a rash of trouble lately okay are these just normal soldiers or are these yeah just normal soldiers it fine let's go over to lake hylia again All right, if I'm not mistaken, once I become human in Lake Hylia, the best cutscene in the game plays. So we are in for a treat in a little bit. The cutscene actually terrified me as a kid, but it's pretty, Pretty surreal nowadays. could it be? Bird? A fish? It's a big bug. <laughs> yeah, I hate this thing to be honest. Thank you, Nintendo. It's so gross. Now it does its dash thing. Yeah. See if I can successfully dodge it this time.
Uh-oh. Is that it? Oh, that was fast. I was expecting a way longer fight. Alright, finally done with the bugs. I don't think there are any other bug hunts in the game. There are just three, and this is the last one. The vessel of light is full of tears, and light has returned to this area. Alright, get ready guys. This is my favorite cutscene in the game. Make sure to get the last few shadow now. <laughs> See you later. Actually, does it play yet? I think it does. Oh, now I'm confused. Maybe it's later. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. Don't mean to hype you up for nothing. My name is Laneru. Your efforts have at last restored each of us light spirits in Hyrule. O hero chosen by the gods. Dark power that you seek. It waits in a temple set in the bed of Lake Hylia. But before seeking it, you must now bear witness to something and never forget it. You must know what it was, the will of the goddesses, that we lock away the forbidden power. Wait, you must know that it was, the will of the goddesses, that we locked away the ancient, the forbidden power. Okay. It was the will of the goddesses. When all was chaos, the goddesses descended and gave the order life to the world. They granted power equally to all who dwelt in the light and then returned to the heavens. The lands where the goddesses descended came to be known as the sacred realm. For ages, the people lived at ease, content in mind and body. But soon, word of the sacred realm spread through Hyrule, and the great battle ensued. Among those living in the light, interlopers, who excelled at magic, appeared. Wielding powerful sorcery, they tried to establish dominion over the sacred realm. It was then that the goddesses ordered us three light spirits to intervene. We sealed away the great magic those individuals had mastered. Did it say three light spirits? Aren't there four though? There are four total light spirits. Why are there three in, in Hyrule history? That's kind of weird. You know, this magic, it is the dark power you seek, the fused shadow. 
O hero chosen by the goddesses, beware. Those who do not know the danger of wielding power will before long be ruled by it. Never forget that. I remember being so terrified and confused watching this cutscene as a kid. Now I kind of understand it. Yeah, it is very freaky. Uh, the dark part of that you seek is within the Sleeping Lake Bed Temple in Lake Hylia. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it's basically a history of uh, Hyrule and the Gerudo. Sort of. And... I think the interlopers were part of the Gerudo, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe Sheikah. I think it was Sheikah, actually. I'm not sure now. But it's got a lot to do with Ocarina of Time. All right, we became human, so I think next stream is when we'll tackle the temple. We're actually out of time for tonight, but I want to thank everyone who came by. Uh, thank you, Hazy, for the raid. That was amazing. Thank you, everyone who's been lurking, chatting, everyone who's been here. I greatly appreciate you. Um, let's go ahead and raid somebody. Let's go ahead and share the love. It's It's been a really nice night. I'm checking to see who's live. Hey, no, thank you guys for being here. Much appreciated. You know what? Wood is playing Elden Ring. And it's been a long time since I last raided him. So let's go ahead and give him a raid. I also don't see him live too often. Um, let's go ahead and raid him. I'm just going to hop over to the intermission screen again where I say goodbye. It has been lit. Thank you guys for being here. Hey, good night to you too, Aegon. Thank you for stopping by. All right, let's go ahead and start the raid. All right, there it is. So thanks again, guys, for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. It's been a real fun one. I'll see you all again on Sunday with some more dark wood. And uh, take care, guys. Say hi to wood for me. Have a good night, guys. Thanks again. Bye-bye.